the world has been waiting for this opening weekend of Super Rugby Aotearoa. Yesterday we had the entree of the Highlanders taking on the Chiefs, but now in Eden Park it seems the main meal is ready to be delivered. It's the Blues versus the Hurricanes in a match on so many multiple levels. Let's have a look at the two sides and how they line up and get ready for kickoff of game number two. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby in the second game in the opening weekend of Super Rugby Aotearoa. Thanks for joining me and I hope you're looking forward to a cracking matchup between these two sides. The Blues and the Hurricanes. So many multiple leveled clashes and matchups and reasons to get excited about this game here tonight at Eden Park. The Blues team has been in impressive form so far in the earlier Super Rugby season and now the question is can they keep it together heading in to this new look New Zealand only tournament? The big talking point is the addition of Bowden Barrett and he starts tonight in the number 15 jumper of course against his former side the Hurricanes he joins what has been an impressive back on as well with some real shining lights and a very strong and powerful looking forward pack he'll start a fullback course and his back three alongside him will be Caleb Clark and Mark Talia in the midfield it's interesting to see Rico Iwani get the nod at 13 with the big inspirational leader TJ Fayani inside him at 12. Utini Black and Sam Nock will be your 10 and 9 for the Blues who have a look at the forward pack. The back row consisting of three very consistent performers. Tom Robinson will be on the blind side with Blake Gibson on the open and it will be the man who has really stormed into the limelight, Hoskins Satutu at number 8. It will be the leader of the pack and captain for the team, Patrick Tuipulotu in the number four jumper and alongside him in the second row will be Josh Goodhue. Strongly in front row as well, they will really be tested tonight. Alex Hodgman, James Parsons and of course All Black offer to Angabasi will be in the number three jumper. Can the Blues step it up once more and be a real contender for Super Rugby Aotearoa? We find out over this next 80 minutes against the Hurricanes. And while home ground advantage will count for quite a bit tonight here at Eden Park, the Hurricanes are certainly no strangers to hostile crowds. Coming up here to face the Blues is one of those matches in a bit of a North Island derby clash. These games are all going to be tough and the Hurricanes need to get this season off to a tidy start if they're really going to challenge for the title this year. They are missing a few key players, none more so than Adi Savia from the starting lineup. He'll start off the bench tonight, but his impact surely will be felt later on. And of course, Jordy Barrett, who was missing from tonight's game, and no place of fullback for him. It'll be Chase Tietia instead. They will take the number 15 jumper. The team still looks pretty strong. There's a few key areas this side has to step up and if they're going to challenge this Blues team here at Eden Park. It'll be that back three though, Tia Tia, Ben Lamb on the left wing and of course Wes Hoosen that have to finish every single little chance created. We know what La Mappi and Arso bring in the midfield combination for this Hurricanes team as well and the pressure on those two to support. Jackson Garden Bashup inside them at number 10 is going to be key. TJ Perinara, he's going to lead this whole team forwards and backs alight and he will start with the number nine as per always. Moving into the back row ahead of him, Gareth Evans will be in the number eight with Dupasek Karifi in seven and Reed Princek at number six. In the second row, James Blackwell will dom the number four and Scott Scrafton, the former blue himself, will be in the five. The front row will see Fraser Armstrong on the loose inside, Dane Coles a hooker and Tyrell Lomax again, the former Highlander, lining up in the number three for the Canes. Can they step it up? This is huge already in the opening game for these two sides of Super Rugby. Oh, dear, oh, the Blues, though, at home with a packed crowd ready to get behind them for the opening clash. The next 80 minutes will be crucial for both their seasons. So the players have made their way onto the field. We are ready for kickoff. And now, if you are unfamiliar with these New Zealand Super Rugby sides, the Blues, well, no surprises really here. They'll be playing in the blue. The Hurricanes in the yellow and black as Bowden Barrett does the job and gets us underway very early on as the Hurricanes drag down the kickoff and a couple of little short hit-ups there by the forwards. 
Gets him nicely going up to the 10 metre line as Perinara waits now and has a bit of a run to Perinara for shifting back to the short side on the left and lost ball straight away. The Blues pick it up and they take through the middle of the park. Clark finds Shuani who has a bit of space here on the left side and plays he's fairly used to finding himself. And he's taken down 10 metre line. Hurricane side of halfway. Robinson finds a nice end to the Farsi. A bit of room here for Fayani. Cuts back inside for TJ Fayani. What a start for the Blues. Just five minutes in. And TJ Fayani cuts back in. Leaves the Hurricanes reeling. And scoots straight over for the Blues' first try of Super Rugby Aotearoa. Well, this is a brilliant line. From Fayani, look at him cut in between a pile of forwards and then leave the average chase from Mr. Chase, Tia Tia himself. Foot dust. Tonga Farsi, great play. Slithering nicely inside James Blackwell. And the acceleration was too much for the big boys who were just lumbering down that left wing side. And a brilliant, brilliant start that will. Very much pleased this Eden Pyre crowd. And their Blues are in front 5-0. Here is Bowden Barrett. He's got the duties off the tee. And there is no mistake from the new big marquee signing. Bowden Barrett puts them up. Seven points to nil. And there is something that the Hurricanes will definitely be missing. Back we go to Jackson Garden Bashup who gets his back underway. Deep kick this time down to the 22 of the Blues. And here's a try score of Fayani himself, who loses straight away. Ben Lamb with a quick pass, and he'll score. Oh, wow. What a reply from the Hurricanes. Duplessis Karifi with a turnover of rapid, epic skill. And he quickly whipped it up and whipped it off to his finisher, Ben Lamb. That is magical stuff from Karifi. And what a finish as well from Lamb that we have been used to seeing from them in years gone by. It was quick, it was decisive, and it was punishing. Duplessis, Karifi, and Ben Lamb, that's all they need. And a great finish too on the left wing. And the Hurricanes, oh well and truly back now. What a reply, what an instant hit back. And now the pressure on Garden Bashup to restore the full complement of seven. Oh, he's hit the uprights. It looked on track, but it just did not curl on the inside line for the left upright. It held straight. And straight into the pole it went. Unsuccessful from Garden Bashup as Bowden Barrett now back to halfway. His turn at kicking off, and it's a in a Middle of the road, a half long, half short. This might be dragged in by the Hurricanes. Pick and go this time from the Canes. They get it back. Oh, stolen as well of Armstrong. And now here comes the 2 2. And he looks like he might lose it as well. He does. Canes get it back. And it's fired off to Garden Bishop. Kicks it down the throat of Bowden Barrett, who's got to run it back. Gets the wheels rolling out wide as well. Where's Houston? Drags him down. And another turnover. It's no play at all consistent from either side. Waiting for it now is Blackwell. He's waiting a long time as well. Piranara went to the left. Blackwell went right. And the forward pass comes away from Blackwell to Garden Bishop. And that will be a disappointing play from the Canes who are just starting to get the wheels rolling. Set. So the first time we get to see these two teams back down the scrub. Oh, the Canes hit hard. Sam North feeds, but it's going to be lost. Perinara has it at the base. Missed out Garden Bash, should be missed out everyone. It's quickly gone straight out to Ben Lamb. Up against his opposite, Mark Talia. And he eventually goes for the chip over the top. And Bona Barrett waits and puts it in goal for a 22 dropout. Well, still a lot of play to go under this one yet. Barrett takes it back to the 22 and he slaps this one cross field to the 10 metre line as the Hurricanes will run it back and they swiftly switch it from left side to right. Here's Wes Houston. Nice little ball inside. Big chance. Lamopi wants to be on. Big tackle. Bowden Barrett saves the day again. 
La Mappe was rumbling on through. Support on his inside. And he didn't give it to Ouch. his old buddy, Vincasso. Blind. And he knocks the ball on in the tackle of Sit. Barrett. Well, I think someone wanted to prove a point there. And the number 12, Jump is the pack. Replies and may well steal the ball back. No! Brews fire back again. And there is some real grudge match going on here. The Blues striking it through TJ Fayani. And he hacks it downfield up towards halfway from the inside centre. And the Blues escape their own 22 with a nice little kick away. Dan Coles, who, well, we've not even mentioned it all so far in this matchup. We'll throw into the line out just before half an hour, and it's stolen. Josh Goodhue flying high to steal that ball and turn it over against the Hurricane Star and the ball. It's equally good for the Blues as they trudge their way up to the 10 minute line. The two on the fuss, he leads the way and goes out wide to Mark Talia, who beats his man for pace. And Mark Talia will score a brilliant try for the Blues that puts them further in front. Ben Lamb wishing he could have another go at that because that was tame on defence. So on the fast, he started it all, Rico Ioane, and then Talia just showed the outside line, and Ben Lamb could do nothing about it. Poor defence from the Hurricanes. Simply put, you cannot defend like that and expect to win a game of rugby. Coming across, trying to save the blushes there, was Chase Tiatia for the Hurricanes, but there was no chance at all. For the fullback, and some average work there by the Canes allows Talia to go in for the second try for the Blues, and then it's easily converted just to the right hand side. Barrett grabs his second conversion of the match, and the Blues are up 14 points to five as we head towards the half an hour mark. Well, weak defense has been something that we want to talk about at halftime break the Hurricanes they have to clean that up and then find any way back into this game now they trail by nine and the Blues are on the ball it's all Kenny Black has a bit of a run off the back of the ruck down the short side cleaned up Tom Robinson as he goes south they change directions it's good here it goes nicely to Sam Knock the Blues are floating here of their own 22, which is a bit dangerous as James Parsons gets a heavy hit coming in from his right hand side. Now he's a great little dummy away from Hoskins to Tutu. The Blues still running it out from their own line here. Brilliant work now, Tonga Fassi gets him up to halfway. This is some great work from the Blues on attack. Knock again, passing inside, looking for Parsons to fight his way through. Now they give away to old Teddy Black who's going to expectantly look for the touchline but he's not found it. Poor kick there for Black. Goes back to Piranara. He kicks cross field. No one looking for the safety of half time here as the game continues on. Barrett out wide. They find Satoshi again. And he storms his way up and loses the ball contact. Great turnover by Ben Lamb. Now the Hurricanes will attack. They come up to right-hand side for changing directions. Back on the inside, it is taken in from Police. Jackson Garden Bishop. Waiting for it now, Scrafton. He picks and goes himself. He takes on Black, and he finds no further meters with it. Now they swing to the left-hand side. Big chance for Lamb. Lamb beats his mouth on the outside again. Replaying the favorite to Lamb. Inside pass, brilliant. And the Hurricanes will strike right on the stroke of half time. In fact, many minutes after, but a critical time to score and a brilliant try to boot as well. Ben Lamb showing to Mark Tillier exactly what he did to him just minutes ago. And the support lines were brilliant. Inside and out, but finally going straight through under the sticks almost was Fraser Armstrong. Well, Ben Lamb... What a stand-up that is from the left winger. Was he still in the field of play? That is the contentious question there. But the referee and his assistants have deemed that one okay. And we will have a close game at halftime. Four points currently. The kick coming in 
from Garden Bishop is good, right in front pretty much. And he makes no mistake about that, slightly to the left. And over it goes, well, well, well. After the Blues put in a commanding display throughout the half, they still have not come away with a convincing scoreline so far. 14-12 is the halftime break score. But the stats tell this game has been nothing short of even throughout the whole matchup. Line breaks, territory, possession, kicks, tackles even. All sitting pretty close between the two sides. Heading here so is the one area the Hurricanes will want to clean up. If they can do that, we could be in for one hell of a finish to match up the game from the opener last night as well. What a stunner that one was. Here we go, back underway. Garden Basham kicks off and Tom Robinson drags in. And makes a tag. The Blues, TJ Fayani. What a load to Miller Park. What an offload to Angafasi. Support on his right. And it will be the captain, Patrick Toipanutu. In he goes. What a try. What a start to the half for the Blues as well. They couldn't have dreamed of better. TJ Fayani cuts them in half. Right up the middle, pops it on the inside, towing a fussy and Tui Palutu. The big man storms in. Tia Tia and Lamb again, close on the chase, but they're close to the line. He's a tough man to stop. Magnificent lines from Tuang a fussy, and the support was there on his inside and out if he wanted it. You see Parsons and Blake Gibson, they were trotting in support as well. But Patrick Tui Palutu. What a finish there by the big second rower. Well, this extends the lead quite comfortably out now. A chance to put it back to nine, and he'll do that, Barrett. Over it goes. Comfortable conversion. Again, just to the outside of the uprights was the attempt, and it was easily slotted. And this has put the game back in favour heavily of the Blues now. 21-12 is a score, we're just four minutes into the second half and underway he goes, Gibson, goes to Lea, and now we break away, Rico Iolani, support on his inside, he finds it as well, hands on Tilly Black, can he go all the way, chase Santana, will not get there, and all Tilly Black will score one for the Blues, back to back, it is a second half, start of dreams for the home side. You couldn't have even imagine anything better than this for the Blues. The home team is roaring into action now as they have completely turned the tables early in the second half. What a change from the first 40, which was give and take either way. But Chase Tiant here will be distraught. He could not reel in the Blues fly half there. 40 Black, well finished. For a man who wears the number 10, he does have a little bit of that electric pace about him. Not quite the level this man here, but still enough to finish that beautiful break on the outside channels. Here is Barrett. And although he has a score to try of his own, he has been on form with the boots. And the scoreline very quickly now explodes out to a 16-point lead. 28 points to 12. Much work to do for the Hurricanes, that is for sure. As Garden Bishop gets us back underway and is over the head of the initial taker of the ball and taken instead by Joy Pelotto. Here is Alex Hodgman, he's got the man on his left. Beautiful Cutter Park, nice offloading as well. Hodgman gets back, here's Clark again, breaking away, just skipping out of a couple and drawn down inside the Hurricanes half now. Here's Rico Yuani back to Tulanga Fussy. A little bit of explosion from the Blues. Could they go for three on the trot? Here's Clark. Nicely fighting Hodgman and Parsons all right there. Not releasing. Oh, and a penalty, the Hurricanes. That was rapid. Very good by the visiting team, James Parsons. An experienced campaigner here. We'll be enjoying this as well to get one over the Canes in the way that they are so far will be very pleasing to the Blues hooker. It's a decent nudge downfield from Jackson Garden Bishop. Gets him just into the Blues half. And Dane Coles will throw to a shortened 
Five man line outs. And the, oh, the options are stolen at the back once again by Goodhue. But he is, I mean, supported it all. Turn over quickly for the Canes. And they swing it to the left ball, coming back inside. And shut Not down and turned over. Oh, that is bad. That is terrible by the Hurricanes. Complete disregard of the ball carrier. And he was wrapped up. Gareth Evans, oh, three or four Blues players on him like a flash. And this is... A surprising decision, some may say, from Tuipulot to the captain. He's given the ball to Barrett. 50, nearly 60 metres, right in front. Gives it a nudge. Oh, it's over. Bowden Barrett can do it all. A 58 metre kick, right in front of the sticks. I'll take three, please, he says. And he takes them as well. 31-12 to score now as we head towards the hour mark. 20 to go, and the Hurricanes a long way behind this one now, and they need to score next to have any chance to get back in this game. Tom Robinson has been on fire at the kickoff to Sam Knopfler. Oh, James Parsons! Now he's had his head taken off. He's in the wall, says the hooker. Lama beat the man. Taking blame on that one. And another five or six metres back this time. Barrett's not so keen on the three. Instead, looking for the safety of touch, and he does it to a great kick. Executing it perfectly, just over the line. And Parsons, who just got sideswiped by a high shot, is back to throw into the line out. 15 to play here, and the line out's been brilliant for the Blues. Another one incoming, some may think. They go out quickly wide to Caden Park. One on one with his opposite number. Oh, he beats him brilliantly. No chance for Houston. Inside to Rico Iwani. And they don't quite finish, but the Hurricanes to turn this over. Well, there's the surprise. Big change, big turnaround. Really and a seen. chance for the Blues. Alex Hodgman turns over Piranara. Gets the penalty as well. And this has been some second half from the Blues. And they are happy to slow it all down. Again, step up, Bowden Barrett. They are in such control of this game, the Blues. 31-12 will become 34-12. And the lead extends now over 20 points. 22 to be exact. And the head starting to drop now of the boys in the yellow. Towards the final 10 minutes we go. Garden Basher again, kicks us back underway. And saw a great take there from Dane Coles. Flying through the air. He plucks it from the sky, but he's lost the ball straight away. And the Blues will come again. Here is Yuani going back inside, back to traffic and back to off to Angafasi. Clark gives to Robinson. Great off road to Rico Yuani. TJ Fiani there as well. And Tui Pilato Amixi fighting on Teddy Black. And on halfway, the Blues finding meters with ease here. Tom Robinson yet again with another hit up by the big man in the number six. Sam Knock runs it off, floats. Hodgman doing well, tying a farsi, finding the man out wide again. Caleb Clark, one on one. Oh, he dummies on the inside. Well taken and turned over. But the penalty will come back to the Hurricanes. No, back to the Blues. The full pass against the Hurricanes from the turnover. There it was, Piranara, I think. Crouch. Quickly there to snaffle Fine. the ball. But in fact, Set. threw a forward pass straight after. <laughs> Gifting chances. Oh, the Hurricanes. Good attack here from the pack. And they turn this over here. Piranara has been hit well and truly out of this game, as have all the key players in yellow. Quickly out. Very quickly out to midfield there to Vinzasso. They come back inside from Ben Lamb and ranging through the middle is Gareth Evans. Numbers and chances and space out wide for the Hurricanes. Going to the corner. Oh, brilliant offload in the tackle. And Ben Lamb, he's in again. And the Canes with the final say. But it will be far from enough to challenge the Blues. That was a little bit fancy. That was a little bit special from the Hurricanes. But it will be too little, too late as the barn stopping run from Red Prince Seep and the offload and the tackle as Bona Barrett come flying across. But a brilliant offload here. Prince Seep did fantastically well. That is an exceptional line as well from Ben Lamb. And the support was there, Vince Arso. 
aren't required. We just talked about how out of this game they've been. And then we seen from that scrum, it was peppered straight to Aso and La Mape. And they actually created for a rare time in this matchup. Here's the conversion. Garden Bishop puts it over. And a little bit of consolation here for the Hurricanes. But it will not be enough for the Blues in front of a packed Eden Park. Celebrate a fantastic start to Super Rugby out to Well, they couldn't have dreamt of a better 80 minutes all over. They started well. They cashed in at the early part of the second half. And they finished well enough, consolidating in threes, taking chances with our on offer, and finishing ultimately the better by quite some distance. Four tries of three, Patrick Tui Pelotu, Uteri Black, TJ Fiani, and Mark Talia with the tries. Barrett, six out of six from the tee. As for the Hurricanes, two tries to Ben Lamb, and one, of course, to the big loose head prop, Fraser Armstrong. And, of course, it was two out of three conversions for Garden Bishop. Well, the stats did favour the Blues in the end position. The key one there, they held on their side 60-40 going away of the home team. But the rest of the stats, fairly even. Both sides had plenty of chances. That little period after halftime, the Blues pulled on the points, which is too much to handle for the Hurricanes. And they come away with some fantastic early season form, continuing on where they left off after the end of regular Super Rugby season. Now they are back, and with that win, form, confidence, all going their way, it looks like the Blues are going to be one tough nut to crack in this season. Super Rugby Aotearoa. That is it for me today and from the opening weekend of Super Rugby Aotearoa. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed the fixtures here this weekend. I'll be back in with my preview of round two, followed up by the two matches coming up this weekend as well. So make sure to stick around and stay tuned to what I think is going to happen and then we'll see what Rugby Challenge 3 thinks will happen as well. Surprisingly enough, it's been fairly accurate so far. Until then though, thanks for tuning and watching. Hope you're enjoying these Super Rugby Aotearoa matches and I'll see you all for the next one. Until then, take care.